call me crazy. Rule number one to getting engaged is it has to be a surprise. Don't be this guy that's like, oh, I'm going to marry this girl. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I already ordered the ring. Babe, 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 I already know where I'm going to propose to you. Yeah, it's all planned out. Ring's going to be here next Tuesday. I even got the confirmation number if you want to. Why would you tell her all that? Like, watch paint dry. You're taking all the value out of that surprise in that one statement. For what? When you propose to your lady, she's supposed to lose her mind. Jump up and down, hug you, kiss you, start crying, all of this. When you tell her you already bought the ring, when you tell her where you're going to do it, when you tell her you're going to do it, and then you actually do it, what is there to be surprised about? When you finally propose, she's like, oh my God, I can't believe you said exactly what you were going to do and you did it. Oh my God. You told her the whole thing. You destroyed. And guys, I know women try to get little hints from us with this kind of stuff. Should I get my nails done next week? I don't care. Go get them done. Whatever. They want to know if their nails need to look nice so that when you take pictures of that ring on their finger, if their nails are done. They don't really care if you think it's the time of the month to get their nails done. No. Don't give in to this, okay? Stick to your manhood. Make the engagement a surprise because women know the moment you start acting a little funny, they sense it. They all work for child support. They sense changes in your barometric pressure inside your body, your blood pressure. They know when you start acting different. I think Sherwin's going to propose next week. Oh, yeah. Why do you say that? I don't know. He's acting different. He showered. I don't. If you don't normally shower, guys, don't shower that week. Okay. Stink the whole week. In fact, <laughs> Pick a fight with her the week before so that she thinks you're going to break up and then propose to her because women are perceptive. They go to the source and they figure us out. Why do you think women are all into this astrology craziness? Because they want to know based on the month you were born if you're predisposed to being an asshole. So they go to the source. They want to know if the stars and the moon are aligned and all this Mercury Gatorade craziness. They go right to the source. Guys, next time you're with your lady, blurt something out randomly for no reason. Something doesn't make any sense. Be like, I wonder what my high school math teacher is doing right now. Your boys are going to be like, yeah, they probably teach you math. Your lady is going to be like, what made you think of that? Because she's trying to figure out what was it in your environment that caused you to think of your high school math teacher? What was it? So that this way, anytime you see that same type of environment, you should automatically be thinking of your high school math teacher. And if you're not, you know, something's different with you today. You're not yourself. They figure us out, okay? I never understood, like, these, <laughs> these guys that do these crazy engagements where, like, they jump out of a plane and they get engaged, like, mid-sky and whatever. I never understood the point. And I know all you ladies watching, like, oh, my God, that's so cute jumping out of a plane. No, it's not cute, okay? Engagements do not belong in the middle of the sky. They belong down here on Earth. Because imagine that phone call to the parents. Hey, we got some good news <laughs> and we got some bad news. <laughs> All right, what's the good news? Good news is the kids got engaged. What's the bad news? Bad news is, uh, yeah, they're dead. Don't do that, okay? The sky is for sky things. The Chinese are installing satellites and you want to drop down from a plane and it, for what? And then have another plane fly and you land on that plane and there's rocket launchers and grenade launchers being shot into the air and fireworks and all that. For what? Guys that do stuff like that are trying to show off their money. OK, or the girl is out of his league and is with him for his money. Women don't care about that kind of stuff. Women don't care about money. And I know you ladies watching is like, I care about money. No. After a while, the mansion is just a house and a Porsche is just a car. Women want effort. They want thought. And if she really loves you for you, she's not going to care how you propose because you proposed. And that's what it is, ladies. And you know it. OK, because, you know, my problem is with all this crazy proposal stuff with the helicopters and all this nonsense is when guys do stuff like that, they just made that the new normal. And then when an average guy comes along and wants to propose to his lady, now he has to go and take out three mortgages on two aircrafts just to propose to his lady. 
Five years later, they might be going through some rough times. He's still making payments on the helicopter. Like, for what? Come on, dude. Take her down to a nice romantic place, maybe in the woods by a river or something. Set up a table with candles, wine, bug spray. You know... (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, make it romantic and make it private about the two of you. And guys, look, if you don't take my advice on this and you want to do the crazy elaborate proposal or whatever, maybe in front of like 10,000 people in a stadium, rule number two is make sure she's going to say yes. Because there is nothing worse than going into a stadium or television or in front of a whole bunch of people and they got you on this Teletron and, and, and there's rockets and everything going off. 10,000 people and, and it says, will you marry me? No. That's it. If that happens, it's over. Because she's going to get up and run out of the stadium. Now you're left in the stadium to finish watching this game. And 10,000 people are all going to feel so bad for you. Oh, oh, 10,000 people screaming, oh. And then, of course, there's going to be that one girl in those 10,000 people. It's like, I'll marry him. And those 10,000 people are going to lose their minds because they don't care about your life. They just want to see a show. Your mind is not right because you just lost your lady. You're like, the hell with it. All right, I'll do it. I'll marry Match.com's elite member. Sure. (laughs) I'm sure when Array, I love you guys.